Hey guys, and welcome to episode three of Temo TV. My name is Usman, and I'm part of the Training Producers Program. I'm super excited to present you with an awesome episode today filled with amazing creative talent from Thamesmeet. Today's theme is In The Moment, where we celebrate all the outdoors that Thamesmeet has to offer. We're going to take you on an art walk, and we're going to show you the local green spaces. We're going to make you laugh, and we're going to entertain you. Now over to Bajan, who's going to show us how to make beautiful window decorations using willow branches. Hello everyone, my name is Bajan Hunton and I'm a visual artist working and living in Thames Mead as part of the Bow Artist team. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some activities which you can do at home using materials which you can find in your daily walks or using very simple materials that we find within the home. The first one is going to be using willow sticks. And secondly, we'll be creating some letters. And thirdly, how we can make some creatures using food packaging, which you might have at home. The first step is make some hearts using willow branches. For this activity, you're going to need a pencil, a pair of scissors, a piece of paper, some bits cut out of masking tape and your willow branch. You're going to draw your teardrop shape. This will act as a template. Take a piece of masking tape, put the bits together. Once you've got your two teardrop shapes together, you're ready to assemble it into a lovely heart shape. You can then use a string Bring the two teardrop shapes together and tie. For the second activity, we are going to use these paper strips to write a message on. This could be a message for yourself, a family member or a friend. And even if you want to write poetry. Now what I find is the bottom bit of the heart, the curly bit, is a really good place to take this on. Now what's really wonderful is that once you've done this, you can actually just slide over with your nail so that the paper becomes like a paper ribbon and it can glide over your heart very beautifully. And you can, if you want to, you can add another one. For the third activity, we're going to make some large cutout letters as a message of thanks to the NHS for your window at home. So here are my letters and the style that I'm going to use. With a pencil, you're going to do the skeleton of the letter and then using a light colour pencil, you're going to do lines parallel to what you've drawn already. You can see all the letters that have been cut out ready to display on our window. For the fourth activity, we're going to be using food packaging that you will have at home. We're going to be making some flying creatures. Here is the drawing which I did earlier of a butterfly on conflict pack. I will now color this in to make it brighter and more beautiful. I hope you feel inspired. Have fun! saying guys it's Ray Brown I'm a local Thamesmead resident and um, over the next few minutes I'm going to take you on a virtual journey of three of my favorite areas that I've come to love in my 20 year tenure in Thamesmead so the first place I'm going to take you to is Lesnar's Abbey now if you've lived here for any amount of time you know Lesnar's Abbey is an iconic part of Abbey Wood you've got the Abbey ruins there you've got the massive woods behind it so we're in Lesnar's Abbey nice green space potentially terrifying if you're afraid of dogs lots of wide open space for you to go running there's some gym equipment further over there as you can see there's lots of social distancing going on if you like bees you like plants there's a nice little section there with some seats like a little zen garden um, just take yourself there and just chill uh, the next place I'm going to take you to is the street cage. I literally spent my, my childhood at the street cage, man. Like, the street cage made me a man. It was amazing. 
the basketball court was was mad narrow. It was like if you think about if you think about if you think that the court is like this big, and people used to come from other areas just to just to play with us. You know what I mean? Like Street Cage was like a it was like a place for legends, man. It's like it doesn't look like a lot. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but once you get inside, it's it's like a it's like a coliseum, man. It's surrounded by surrounded by the flats, like people are looking down, watching you. Last but by no means least, the third place I'm gonna take you to is the lake. Now the lake is just is just dope. It's 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 like a green wonderland. You feel me? Like there's a lot of green in Thamesmead. It's a very green land. You, you could almost call it Greenland. Just wanna chill, you go for a walk around the lake, um, take a go on a date. There's ducks, there's swans. Sometimes the sun hits the water at the right angle and, and, it, and it just looks nice, man. You feel me? Like if you go to the right time of day, um, the field surrounding it, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just really nice and it's green and it's peaceful. It's very scenic. It's very scenic actually. A lot of people have come to shoot stuff there. Uh, Misfits, um, Puma shoot a lot of stuff there. Foot Locker shoot a lot of stuff there. So yeah, it's just a nice scenic green spot. Uh, I really like it. 10 out of 10, I would recommend. Yeah. So yeah, that was uh, my virtual tour of Thames Meadows. Those were just three places that I really enjoyed um, over my over over the years i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it too hope you guys are keeping safe and um yeah social distancing and yeah take care Hi everybody, I'm Patricia and this is Leo. We are going to do Rise in Laughter. This laughter is really good for getting all the stale air out of your lungs. Are we ready? From our belly, we're going to be Santa. Ho 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 ho. And then from our chest, we're going to be a lovely princess. Ha 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 ha. And then from our mouth, what are we going to be, Leo? Cheeky. Cheeky. <laughs> and then from our heads, what are we going to be, Leo? Evil Lord. Evil Lord. Should we try them again? Santa? Ho, 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 ho. Lovely princess. Ha, 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 ha. Cheeky. <laughs> and evil lord and now we're going to breathe in and we're going to pretend we're a big balloon so when we close our mouth we're going to breathe in through our nose mm -hmm. are ready blow your body up like a big balloon ready and now squish it down <laughs> one more time ready and squish it down. That was brilliant, Leo. Do you feel better? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Love it. Remember the competition from last episode, guys? Thank you so much to everyone who sent in their pictures. And as promised, here are a few of our favorites. Was beautiful. Did you guys enjoy that? Now here's Joseph with a brand new opportunity by making space for nature. Check the comment section below for the link. This is your invite into how you can engage with your local natural habitats, how you can see your home environment differently and how you can make art as a response to that. I've always enjoyed exploring woodland environments but here at Lesnar's Abbey Woods I found something I wasn't expecting. This totem-like sculpture is by craftsperson Tom Harvey and they're dotted all around the woods here. All I know about this work is that it was created using chisels and a chainsaw to create this level of detail. These pieces are carved out of tree trunks and what I like about them is that they remain in situ in the woods. 
Also, they depict animals that you might find in this environment. As a result, they blend into their surroundings and surprise you every so often when you come across them. I'm on the Ridgeway which divides North and South Thamesmead. Now, if you've ever wondered why there's a perfect line as far as the eye can see, that's because directly below this is a huge sewage pipe leading to Cross Ness just behind me. It's here where local artist Natasha Bird first became interested in systems of waste and water infrastructure. Natasha explained to me that there's a relationship between sewage pipes and the London Tube Network. In central London, both sewage pipes and the tube pipes are in extremely close proximity to one another. The very creation of these transport lines were called into being by Joseph Bazalgette's embanking of the Thames in the 1860s. Natasha went on to create Embankment, an ambitious work created in 2019 that is three metres wide and two and a half metres high. But the piece is made up of individual plywood frames and the walls are created through mulching, a process whereby Natasha ripped up used newspapers collected from commuters, submerged them in water and pulped them by hand. The journey of the material used to create the structure, those newspapers that have travelled through London's tube network, is referenced in the shape of the piece. It seems that on entering the structure, the viewer would be totally emerged, their entire peripheral vision taken up by the work. They've essentially walked into a giant tube or pipe. The structure is modular, meaning that it can be taken apart and pieces can be reconfigured in different formations. Further, all of the material can also be recycled. I really like this idea that a piece of work can be broken down into parts and rearranged and has the potential to disappear altogether. Perhaps you could teach yourself how to mulch, creating your own structure or surface to work onto. All you need is some newspaper. Perhaps you could think about some pre-existing modular material from around your house and go on to create your own original artwork with it. Or, perhaps like Natasha's done with this sewage pipe, you could go out and explore Thamesmead and find another hidden feature to expose as part of your competition entry. And now from one structure to another. I'm inside Stephen Turner's Exbury Egg and I'd like to read a quote from the artist. He says of eggs that they contain, in embryo, the essentials for new life. They embody the idea of new birth and renewal. So in essence, the egg symbolises life itself. This amazing structure is moored here at Boarts Trust Lakeside Centre next to Southmere Lake. It doubles up as not only a sculptural form, but also a home. Stephen often tours it around the country and lives inside for months at a time to promote a conversation around sustainable living in the future. To create this egg out of wood was an extremely technical and laborious process and was achieved through a collaboration between Stephen and the architect's Pad Studios. As like a real egg, this one is completely watertight and able to float. You might be inspired to use the egg as a starting point for your project. Maybe you could go out into nature and find other symbols of life and use that as your starting point. To see the full film and for more information on how to apply, please go to thamesmeadnow.org.uk. This is the Lockdown Variety Hour. Hi, I'm Raiden Tyson, reminding you to take your one hour outside. Get some exercise, breathe some fresh air, and also relax, be in the moment. <sighs> Wait, is that a spider? Bum, bum, bum. Blech. <laughs> and that was the Lockdown Variety Hour. I'm Kat Peabody's Gardener in residence. I'm a part of a Making Space for Nature program, which is uh, getting uh, local people involved into gardening, food growing, and all the other nature related activities to make Thamesmead greener, healthier, happier place. Today, I am going to show you 
how you can make a plant pot using containers you already have at home. Cardboard trays, recycled, yogurt pots, old tins, old reused mixed uh, pots from flowers, supermarket containers from different fruits and vegetables which have already advantage of having holes at the bottom, all the nice pots. And I'm going to plant in it a red flowered scarlet runner bean. Say five, six beans, water, I will just use some gravel to assure proper drainage. Mix a handful into the compost I'm using. You want to leave a little bit of space for the water in it. Yellow French beans, when they start being a properly established seedlings, I'll transfer them to the way bigger pot, a little bit more of soil, which I press and compress, and a little bit of water. To help you get growing food at home and to celebrate National Growing for Wellbeing Week from 1st to 7th of June, making space for nature are releasing number of free food growing kits to help you get growing at your windowsills, home, balconies and in your gardens. Happy growing! Mead. My name is Jay Coco and I am going to sing Dream a Little Dream of Me for you guys today.
dreams wherever they be. I love you, Thamesmead. <laughs> Unfortunately, now it's the end of the episode. However, we'll be back next week, so don't forget to tune in on Friday. Remember to send in your best photos using the hashtag TV. Also check the comment section below to see more information on everyone you watched today. It's been great. Stay safe and stay happy. Quite. <laughs>